The purpose of this is to show you how to log in and create your first site in Google Sites. I'm going to click on Start and I prefer to use Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome in order to log in to the Google site. Um, what I find is that Microsoft Internet Explorer is not always cooperative. I'll type in Google and Sites, two separate words, and I'll hit the Enter key. When this comes up, I see that I'm at the right spot by verifying these two items, so I click it. At this point, you're going to click and type in your email address and your password. And so if you get a screen that looks like this saying don't get locked out of your account, one of the things I like to do is just come down to the bottom and click no thanks. And this should take us to the beginning of the page which basically gives you the opportunity to create your first site. Over to the left, to create my first site, I'm going to click on this Create button. And what I typically find is that I'm going to start at the very top because the first area it basically says to select a template to use. Because my goal is to create a site that is designed from scratch, I'm going to go with the blank template that's already selected by the red square box. And in this area, it wants to have a name for your site. So in this case, I'm going to type in how to use Google Sites. And actually, I can do this, and it'll still give me the URL in this area, but I'm going to stay here. And so when I look at that, uh, it'll tell me the site location. And then it gives you some directives that basically say that uh, the name or URL address, the website address that people are going to type in, it can only use the characters A through Z, um, uppercase, lowercase, or numbers 0 through 9. And in this case, I'm trying to get this particular site, and I don't know if that's going to go through yet. As you move down the page, you'll notice there's an area that says select a theme, so I'm going to click it. You can change this later on, but by default, I'm going to go ahead and I'll choose Iceberg. I know it's selected because it's red, and so I continue to move down the page to get past the template area. If along the way, for whatever reason, you decide that you want to change it to something different, maybe Solitude Navy, click it. It's okay. Like I said, later on, even when you enter the site, you can go back and change that information. The other part is taking a look at more options. So I'm going to click More Options, and in this area, it says a description for your site. This is very helpful for people that look at your site or find it through search engines such as google.com or bing.com so I like to give an example and in fact I might say uh, provides tutorials and information about how to use Google Sites so that way people will know if they landed on the right area and if your site contains mature content, then you would click and check this particular area. Since mine won't have that, I'm going to go down to where it says type the code that's shown. And so with it, I'm going to have to guess. So I'm going to click in this box, and then I'm going to have to type in information to verify that I'm a human. And so at this point, I'm going to click Create, which is at the top. And I have to wait and in this case it says retype the code and I'm going back to the top just to see if there were some errors that I missed I don't see any yet so I'm going to try this again and I'm typing this just like I believe that I see it and I'm going to click create site again and again it, it doesn't like the code that I chose but I don't have any visual indicators telling me it doesn't like anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say how to use Google site designs so I'll add something else in and I'll see if that'll allow me the opportunity to get this particular verification code accepted and then again I'll click create site and what it says here is that the URL that I've chosen is not allowed so in this instance I'm going to say how to use I'm going to say free websites for designs and I'll see if I click create site 
whether or not it will accept that. The one part that you have to remember is you want to be very selective in choosing a name because once it's selected, you cannot go back and get that URL address changed. Even if you delete your account, you can't go in and reuse a deleted URL address. And so that stands for Uniform Resource Locator, but basically this whole area uh, has just confirmed that this is what I would give people if they wanted to be able to access my site if I desired to share that website with them. So you can see right now that I've gone in and Google has changed the way my site looks, so I have had success in creating my first Google site.